Okay, I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, make a GIF animation using photo El Photoshop Elements 9. Here's my PSE 9. First of all, we have to open some files. I'm just going to use some of these that... Um, oh, I know why they're not that big. Here, let me just... Let me just pick a few here that I haven't, uh, I'm just going to pick anything actually. And I'm holding down the control key. Okay. Well, should we pick another one? Sure, why not? Okay. And you'll notice how they just go up there. Now I'm just going to take this first one. I want it to be the, the first frame in my GIF. I'm going to click on it, hold down the mouse button, and pull it down. Okay, I want my flower to be the first one. Now if I open my project bin, there are the rest of them. Click on the Move tool here in the upper left of your toolbar. All you have to do is click and drag. 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 There you go. They're all there. Then I want to close these. As I just don't like things messing up my... There we go. Okay, and I'm going to close the project bin. Because it's in the way. Okay. Now, next thing you do is you have to position them. Do the eyes. Click the eyes. Oh, you want that one on. And use the Move tool again. And you want to put that right in the middle of the photo. Right in the middle. And you can move these around until they're... Oh, that one's not going anywhere. It was right at the edge anyway. This guy peeking out. And this guy just kind of there. Okay, now we're done. Now, uh, with... Photoshop Elements 9, you don't really need to do this, but with the older version of, of Photoshop, it kind of messed them up. This first layer is the background layer, so it has a little lock. Sometimes that interferes. So right-click on it, layer from background. This new layer, you can give it a name if you want, or I just click OK. OK. Now, this is, I'm going to show you one of the problems here. File, save for web animate and you're going to get if if your photos are too big you will get this message photoshop elements cannot animate this document because it is too big to save this image as an animated gif reduce the image size or the number of layers okay the more layers you have the smaller they have to be gif animations are made only to be seen in emails or in, in browsers on the web and so they have to be very small and they have to uh, be very low resolution. Now, this looks black, right? I'm using the hand tool. This is actually part of a picture. And when you take a regular size picture and you put it on the web, it's like the size of a bed sheet. So they have to be very, very small if they're going to go in an email or on the web. And um, you can resize it here. I prefer to just cancel this, choose my crop tool, come up here to aspect ratio and choose no restriction. And I'm going to take this down to about, because I only have six layers, you know, six frames here basically. I am just thought of something. One of mine, see where the light's leaking here? It looks like it's not. Yeah, let me see. View. Fit on screen. Yeah, that's not positioned very good. So come up here and grab my move tool again. And see over here in the layers palette? Here's another one. See where I, I see white over there? Which means, wow, that's not very well positioned, is it? There we go. And any other ones you might want to check. Okay, all I did to check this is view, fit on screen. So I could see the whole thing. Okay. Now they're all visible back here once again. No restriction. For width, uh, because I only have six layers, I'm going to take 200 space PX. You have to remember to type in the PX for pixels. Or 
elements will think it's inches and 200 inches is really big and you crash the program and I'm going to come up here go one corner down to the next corner the circle with a slash means cancel I want the green check mark okay you see how small that got now file save for web again now I can see it's better now I could actually make it bigger if I wanted to and I could do that down here new size let's go to 250 pixels okay there we go that's a little better now when I check animate I think nothing happens come down here to, at the bottom of the dialog to the animation make sure loop is check mark frame delay you won't really know you'll have to preview it okay down here preview in that'll be your browser for me it's Chrome and that'll show you what it looks like now there's some good there's good information here it gives you the size this is only 204.4 kilobytes which means it's small enough I can put in an email and it won't interfere with anything it'll just zip right through so make sure you check the size you don't want something that says like 14 megabytes now how do we get out of here you just close your browser well here's your question okay now I want to let's say I wanted to make this a little bigger I can come up here change the size again preview it again what if I want it to run slower Okay, it's 0 0.2 seconds now for frame delay but the next one is 5 and 5 might be too slow well with frame delay the neat thing is see how it turned blue I can type in 0 0.35 because 0 0.2 was too fast and 0 0.5 was too slow so I want something in the middle and I'll preview it again that's better okay close the browser when I, I don't know why your question keeps popping up okay when it's okay and it looks like I want it to look I just click OK and I get save optimized as and I use all this stuff okay I want to save it back in my pictures and whatever give it a name don't just click OK this file name is the name or actually the file number of your first picture if you just click save you know the save button over here in the lower left if you just click save you're going to be overwriting and destroying that photo so you'll never be able to use it again so if it's a photo that's important to you or a frame please remember to give it a name please remember to check where it's being saved to and change it if you want it saved somewhere else and I quickly want to save this one so I'm going to cancel it okay I hope this helped you.